and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Bant Oath is what I'm calling this deck. We are building around Oath of Teferi here for this Throwback Thursday stream. As y'all know, Throwback Thursdays are where I take rares and mythics that are rotating out of standard and didn't get to see very much play in standard and build a deck around them before they leave. We've had tons of really fun Throwback Thursday decks. If you're watching this on YouTube, I recommend checking out the playlist with all of them uh, so you can see what we've got going on. We've probably played around 15 or 20 of these so far. The other cards we built around Kumena for the Merfolk deck, uh, you know, Weatherlight, and Joy or Weatherlight Captain earlier, and then Sarkin's Unsealing is what we're going to have after this. But for now, we got Oath of Teferi also in the comment section. Let me know in the comments, what do you want me to build around for next week? What rares and mythics have we not built around yet? All right, so we got Oath of Teferi. Um, so, you know, let's look at this. So I wanted to play this. So I was like, all right, well, obviously, we're going to play a whole bunch of Planeswalkers with Oath of Teferi. It's like we could go Esper or Bant, you know, like or even Jeskai. Like, you know, there's a lot of uh, ways to go here. Uh, but, to, you know, you have to, like, five mana to cast out the Teferi with it not really doing anything on its own. Uh, so all it does is, you know, you get to activate the loyalty abilities of Planeswalkers you control t twice each turn rather than once. That's the key thing that it's doing here. So you need lots of Planeswalkers, but then you also have to spend five mana to get this thing in play. That's kind of tough. And so I was thinking, well, what if we could cheat it into play with Kamal's Juridic Vow? So I went towards Bant for Kamal's Juridic Vow. I definitely thought about going um, going towards Esper instead and going Primeval's Glorious Rebirth route. And I guess you could have like Command the Dreadhorde then too and, and so on. But I wanted to do Druidic Vow. So we're, we're going towards Bant because also like the Esper is kind of slow. I'm hoping Growth Spiral helps speed our deck up a little bit here. Um, <laughs> just looking at the deck, maybe you can see it. Yeah, so... Our other uh, card that we're really building around, Kamal's Druidic Vow, we have to have a Planeswalker in play to cast this for how our deck's uh, built. But if we have the, a Planeswalker in play, then we can play it. And then uh, pay XGG and reveal the top X cards of your library, put all permanents, legendary permanents, which for us, and lands. So that's, that's everything in our deck. So all of our permanents we get to put into play, they cost X or less. So we want to play this on seven mana and have at least seven mana and then have five or less where we can put in Oath of Teferi, Teferi, and, and all of these things, whatever Planeswalkers we hit. So yeah, we're just going to basically try to activate Planeswalkers a ton um, and eventually win somehow. We don't really have good win cons. Our, like Maybe our, our win con here is going to be like Jace. Like if we, if we can play like a really big X spell, we can mill over a whole bunch of cards. Tamiyo can mill over a bunch of cards, and then like we win with, with Jace's uh, static ability. We can just Teferi uh, lock also. Uh, we have Ugin that can make some creatures, and I guess Karn can make some creatures. Um, so can Mu Yanling and Kesmina. We're not, we're not really doing the whole win the game thing very well. Um, yeah, basically we're just going to outgrind opponents and... Uh, activate a whole bunch of planeswalkers and they give up kind of thing you know try to do like this teferi minus eight um and everything like that but yeah so this is our deck looks pretty sweet uh <clears throat> of course we're playing the four interplanar beacons to help us stay alive we're going to struggle against like the really aggressive decks because you know we don't have very good defense so if if they have like a like uh aggressive big creatures that are killing our planeswalkers we're going to struggle i got urza's ruinous blast is like our our defense against that but that's kind of about it so like vampires jun dinosaurs i expect those to be tough matchups but anyway let's see if we can get kamal's druidic vow go and put in a whole bunch of planeswalkers in play and get a nice oath of Tef teferi value as well all right so we're playing a league here with bant oath we'll see if we can get more than three wins before we get two losses you know we've gone two two and three two maybe we get a four two no, no cutting Castaway. That's the other way to go with Oath of Teferi. Uh, I played that deck in War of the Spark a good amount, though. Um, go, like, Jace cutting Castaway with Nicol Bolas, because if you have Jace cutting Castaway in play and Oath of Teferi in play and then play Nicol Bolas Dragon God, you just win the game because you get to just make infinite Nicol Boluses and exile your opponent's entire battlefield, and they lose. So that was that's another way to go with the deck. 
uh, with, with an Oath of Teferi deck. But like I said, you could make it Esper Control with Oath of Teferi or Jeskai. But I'm going Ban because I want to play Kamal's Druidic Vow. A lot of these Throwback Thursday decks, as you'll notice, I not only play like one one rare that's rotating out, but I try to like pair it with another one. And so we paired it with the Druidic Vow also. <clears throat> Well, not the best of starts. Axis of Mortality. I have not I have not even really thought about what to do with Axis of Mortality. Yeah, Phylactery Lich. I think, wasn't Phylactery Lich reprinted in M20, though? I thought, you know, because I was, I was going through the cards this morning of, like, what, you know, cards to build around, and, and I was definitely taking a look at Phylactery Lich. But then I, I kind of thought that it might have been reprinted. So we should be a 26 land deck, right? Yeah, we're 26 lands. There we go. All right, so we'll keep the minus one, you know, keep this Tonebound Lich from dealing damage. Hmm. There are many who have Guess we're going to have to minus on that thing. So I can either, I can play Kesmina to make a 2-2, but the 2-2 just dies through the, the death touch here. I actually just want to play Tamiyo. I think like the phases of the moon. We'll like have Tamio get back Mu Yanling. I follow the tracks of the wine. And Mu Yanling can can check this tonebound lich. Oh. Oh, thank thankfully they don't get to destroy a land. Whew, that was close. Cuz Dovin makes the instant Artifacts, instants, and sorceries cost one more. So they don't actually get to use that. Hey, Floof Bears. I'm doing good today. It's Throwback Thursday. So please draw land. Yay. So what do I really want here? I think you will find my notes helpful. I mean, honestly, like what, like Growth Spiral? Search, search for Roscanta? Maybe Search for Roscanta. Yeah, actually, I like, I like Search for Roscanta. Nailed it. All right, so this will stop the Lich. Stop the Lich from looting. This will stop the Kefnet from doing stuff. The fault is not in our stars, but in ourselves. Yeah, Kendis, Naya Feather for fourth slot tomorrow. Still got that. I had a donation earlier today for a donation deck for tomorrow, but I never got the deck list. Oath of Teferi! I mean, I'm keeping that. Okay, so first let's let's minus here. I'd be less frustrated if you had fewer flaws. And now we're gonna bounce the Dovin to reset Dovin's loyalty. The facts can't be denied. I am beaten. All right, and now we'll tick up on you. Quell your temper. I think I'm just going towards ultimate. We'll tick up on you also. Love the howling winds. 
Kajaro with the Twitch Prime sub. Uh, thank you so much for the support there. All right, Otha Teferi. So my plan here was to tick up and name something, probably like Teferi here of Dominaria, honestly. But then to tick down and grab a land and play another land, because then the next turn, because you know we want that six land drop, and then uh, the next turn we flip as Kanta. Yeah, maybe play another land as well. Even if we don't play another land, that's Druidic Vow for five, and it was going to be pretty crazy from there. But all right, we did it. Well, Dovin was amazing. Mu Yanling was really good too. So glad we played one of each of those. They did their job. I think I'm just going to run it back. Blast isn't spectacular, though. Maybe I Veil of Summer instead of Blast. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. Oh, you're, you're welcome, Hijaro. It's the best channel for a chilled MTG lurk. Thanks for calmly entertaining. And all the decks. Well, you're welcome. That is... You just uh, described what I like to do perfectly. Play tons of different decks. Calmly entertain. <laughs> Rafugur says, my wild cards may say otherwise, though. I'd say that's a pretty good opening hand for our opponent. Duress into Thought Erasure. No, I'm not watching the Basketball World Cup. Not too into that. I wonder why they said good game. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Don't worry. I got this. Like, this game is pretty even. Go either way. You know, all they have to do is find a... There you go. <laughs> I was just finishing saying all they have to do this is find a Drakkie's head. Might be a bad idea. I can no longer stand by and watch. We'll at least make it so they don't get to Blood for Bones. If they have Blood for Bones. Okay. So I'll go to Fairy Tuck. Yeah, this is game two. Like, we, we just won game one, but this is game two. So, yeah, we're, we're playing against the same opponent as the last game. All right, Druidic Val's good. I can no longer stand. You need to take a time out. Their hand was really loaded. Keep up the pace. Hmm. Well, that looks like that's game, unfortunately. As long as as long as they have if they have another bond revival, it's game. I can't stop another bond revival from killing me. that thought I was like that shouldn't come into play I tapped but then realized that it's on Pell Grove like I don't have a forest or a plains in play So good, they did not have another Bond Revival, so we're still in it.
We need to move quickly. I guess I still can't really stop a, bond a bond revival. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Doing that in case we hit another Teferi here. My prowess is Let us see if your talents ideas. are worth catching. I mean, like, what do I even have for instant speed removal? I, I don't. Have instant speed removal is the op is the answer. I have like a Johnny the Great Hearted that can gain life. Meditate and prepare. I have just the trick for this. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. <sighs> hmm. I guess playing Ugin would have gained me one life. The past is never forgotten. Yeah, either Gus is in the sideboard though, right? All right. We were about to gain a bunch of life with our two. Um, two interplanar beacons. We'll take it. Want to know? No, I didn't bring it in. Yeah, Pucks, you called it. Our win con is opponent giving up. But having Othakai is pretty sweet. You see that, like, getting able, like being able to activate our Planeswalkers twice a turn. That's really powerful. Real powerful. Wow. Hmm. Do love having two interplanar beacons. And come on, we keep six lands, like we're probably gonna draw some spells. That seems reasonable. Isn't a fight you can win. So I'm not going to let them just use a, a burn spell to kill I'll Teferi protect. here. Especially if they like, have to go to discard a card anyway. So yeah, they're just going to use a burn spell on Teferi hey, so they don't discard a card. For. I've got it. Temer. Ooh. This is a Temer deck. 
Wasn't really expecting Tummer. No, I am not making this up as I go. So yeah, they get to replay Risen Reef, but it's just gonna buy me time. We will meet again. That's fine. Hmm. That's a good card. There are so many mysteries to uncover. Here we go. Keep an open mind. Hone your prowess. Man, activating planeswalkers twice twice is so sweet. <sighs> Really? All right. We have the backup to fairy, so I can let them kill this to fairy. If you show remorse, you but we get to tuck, tick up. Let's Pick try up. this. Pick up. There's nothing. No time for a break. We'll have the growth spiral. Put another land into play. Man, Oath of Teferi. <laughs> yeah. So crazy. Yeah. Give me an Ugin. Are you kidding me? Let's skip to the good part. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I've got it. Hurry. Oh. So much. So many Planeswalker activations, so much life. I know more than you could learn in a <sighs> Secrets manifest before you. Ether itself serves me. I will gladly point out your inadequacies. Yes. Being able to activate Dovin multiple times, though, doesn't really help. Yeah, it was... It's not just a Teferi... I mean, it's kind of a Teferi deck. I mean, it's really Oath of Teferi, though. We're an Oath of Teferi deck. Only time will tell. All right, they take down one of my planeswalkers. Yeah, give me that, Jace. We can figure a way out of this. Let's mill them out. 
Ooh. That card's fun. Let's think this through. Every story is an opportunity for new data. No tail should be discarded. So many planeswalkers. <laughs> Show remorse. I'll show restraint. So we get to I ultimate that, Teferi next turn. I don't think my opponent's expecting an, a Teferi ult next turn. Truth lies beyond. But because of the the Ajani the Great Hearted. Of the multiverse obeys me. Here goes nothing. Uh, what you want to take up? Seek and find. Get a Karn in here. Nah. You know what? I'm not done yet. Oh, there's Karn. Let's skip to the good part. Uh, I guess. I don't really want to attack. Opponents being a good sport. Let, give me one more turn. Let me play three more Planeswalkers, opponent. Let me get three more Planeswalkers in play. Uh, I was hoping they were going to hit land. Alright, we got two mana Karn. We got Kasmina. Ooh, we can get we can go get Mu Yanling also. I see great potential in you. Prove yourself. To the library. Oh, Gideon? Yeah, get Gideon. Mu Yanling. I have learned much from my ancestors. The wind whispers secrets. All you have to do is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have four, eight, twelve, twelve planeswalkers in play. Oh man, and they all get two activations. All right, we're going to start putting counters on everything. I guess I should start with, like, Ugin ticking up first, but oh well. All right, let's put counters on all those things. Surprise emblem. You are removed from time itself. Uh, I don't know. What, what do you do? You tick up, I guess. Secrets manifest before you. I have 12 cards left in my library. Let's make some more creatures. Away Creatures are cool. Evil cannot withstand a righteous arm. Uh, make some more creatures. Every day is a new lesson. I suppose that's how I want creatures. There's always an answer. The better play is getting rid of their lands and milling myself. Both of those are better plays. We are the future. You just let me know if you're up for round two. It's a matter of giving. You see more of their cards though. Yeah, we're gonna get the flawless victory. Oh, I could ultimate Jace. I forgot Jace had the ultimate. Oh, I could have done the minus eight with Jace to draw seven. No. 
But yeah, so we had 12 different Planeswalkers in play. I guess it had to have been 11. There's only 11 Planeswalkers in the deck. We had every single one of our Planeswalkers in play. So it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I guess, okay, I guess it was 11. It wasn't 12. It was 11. Because we had every single Planeswalker in our deck in play. No, we didn't. No, because it was game one, so I didn't have Gideon. So I, I said Gideon, and, and Gideon wasn't even in our deck, I guess. It was over in our sideboard. So all 11 Planeswalkers in the main deck were in play. That's pretty sweet. All right, Ruinous Blast has got to be good in this matchup. I don't know if we need all four. That's a lot of Ruinous Blast, but I could probably use all four. I don't really know what to take out, honestly. I honestly don't really know what to take out. Maybe the Kasmina. And go with three. Yeah, we could. Yeah, maybe I take out the other Dovin for the the last one. <laughs> yeah, hopefully Radical Guru. Yeah, this this could be a real good YouTube video. Eleven planeswalkers in play at the same time. Anyone need a fire Chandra started? is so good against me. Don't worry, I brought company. Especially if they have Risen Reef. Beating without Risen Reef, so this one is looking really good for my opponent. Thoughtfulness before action. Yeah, that, that is true. I did keep a six land hand. Say hi to my fiery friends. Well, that's good. No. Uh, you are a mighty warrior. No risen reef. I concede. Oh yeah, Omnath does not get Ruinous Blasted. Kind of forgot about that. No, they do have Runus. They do have Risen Reef. Don't worry, I brought company. All right, Wanderer, take care. So this is what our deck's going to struggle with whenever we're just behind on the, in play and we don't get to actually untap with a Planeswalker. Because I don't really see how we can untap with a Planeswalker.
Like this game's over. Let's slow this down. Much more malleable than people think. Definitely consider just drawing a card. Save more life. I think maybe I need more ether, Gus. All right, well that's good. Good that good that Chandra's leaving. Contained. If they tick up, the Chandra leaves. But yeah, I need the I need ether, Gus. These these shield. ruinous blasts actually are not that good. Yeah, you know, we're not getting rid of Omnath, Chandra, Vivian. I really should have seen that coming. I know my responsibility. Uh, not not necessarily cleansing Nova being better than Blast. You know, like Blast gets rid of like en enchantments and um, and like a Danto Vanguard and just all sorts of stuff. You know what? I'm not done yet. I've seen things that would break someone like you. <clears throat> One mana short of playing Narset and Blast this next turn. Yeah, against Omnath. In this specific scenario, just playing Time Wipe or Cleansing Nova would look better for me. That didn't go according to plan. All right, if we get Ether Gus in here. Let's go with one blast, get the Ether Gus, and I don't know, like like even like that, that last game, Dovin would have been pretty good at like stopping that big Omnath from dealing a lot of damage. I think Dovin's okay. I want to trim a Narset. Narset's just gonna, you know, generally be played then minus and die. What are my thoughts on feasting Troll King? Um, I don't know what that card does. Let me look it up. I, I don't remember being impressed by the troll cards before. All right, two G 
GG, GG. So six mana, seven, six, Vigilance, Trample. When it ETBs, if you cast over your hand, create three foods. And then it also says, sack three foods, return Feasting Troll King, King from your graveyard to the battlefield. I predict that card will see zero play. Not impressed with it at all. Six mana. Like, when you're when you're spending six mana, you can't really just have a a 7-6 that just enters and makes three foods. It's, you gotta have something better, and then, you know, like, your card just, your six drop just, you know, dies to a cast down, or whatever, you know, just like whatever removal spell. Uh, yeah, I mean, six drops have to be, like, really powerful, like the um, you know, like Ugin and Liliana and Garrick and stuff like that. Karn's my better card to play here. I'm just gonna play it. Yay! I was scared of Disdainful Stroke and Negate. But good, yeah, Karn helps me hit land drops. Hey, Duriel. All right, so we got out ahead this time, very similar to game one. I like our chances here with this Ether Gust for like whatever they play. Just gonna play that. It's I guess only a matter of time. that is not something to either guest. That's not really anything to either gust either, though. The Troll King is not free if you have a token maker, because it, it only... It only returns from the graveyard to the battlefield if you uh, have some food makers. But yeah, I mean, it depends on... Yeah, the more food you have, the easier it is to return from your graveyard to your battlefield. But, you know, you do have to have, have it in the graveyard. But yeah, I'm not. Say, I'm not too excited about the card. Yep, audio's back. I reset uh, my computer to be before that. This is hardly my um, worst defeat. Update. Nothing is ever truly lost. I am not going. Keep up the pace. Hopefully, I don't have another fry. Hopefully, no more fries. Blit. Let's tear this. That can't help. Or as can't bad For a mouse. Well, yeah, Karn just gets us so many cards. Actually, kind of glad to see Grow Spiral. Do not defy the designs of an elder trap. Bathe in not ghost dead. fire. So we can cast Grow Spiral Sorry. with the lands we untap, but looks like it doesn't really matter. Yay! 
Oath of Teferi. That's what our deck's all about. Do I have the surprise lethal next turn? Or like surprise Teferi ult? Do I have nine mana? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I do. Yes, we do. Oh no, no we don't. If they attack Teferi, actually we still do. Okay. All right, so we are going to... Um, tick up. We need to move quickly. Okay. Okay. Um, do I want to make just two tutus for blockers? I do not stand alone. I guess there'll be three threes. Or four fours. Yeah, let's let's do that. Allow me to introduce you to a friend of mine. Oh. Say hello to my friend. We were not destined to fight. If I have to light the way, I will. With each turn of the clock, your reality will crumble. All right. We got the Teferi ult. And even though I don't really have too much else, but you know, just playing a Narset, we get to double minus Narsets next turn. So cute. Like, you know, I'm assuming like my Teferi and my Johnny die here. So we are, as circles say, in good shape. <laughs> it's pretty good. Hadn't heard that before. It's only Ow. a matter of time. Yep, expected those two to die. We must regroup. Oh, I got Narset over there with the silver counter also. So yeah, Karn's really cool with Oath of Teferi because like the tick up and then tick down is just draw the top two cards. You know they can't they can't like hide a card from you. You get to just put it back into your hand. You get to do both. They're like, well, I'm not going to give you the Tamio, and I'm like, well, actually, I'm going to take this Tamio. Thank you. The storied past holds our future. I won't hide from the world any longer. I Look first. You will find my notes helpful. I guess either gust. We're gonna have to go to discard. No time for a break. Never mind. Not going to discard anymore. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. All right, sausage. Enjoy the burger. <laughs> so much value. Hold that thought. Turns Only out to fairy surprise ults are pretty good.
Uh, took too big of a drink of water there. But yes, okay, Teferi emblems do stack. So yeah, I could get another, a second Teferi emblem this next turn. I can have Tamio. Tamio can grab back a Johnny, play a Johnny, put counters on these again, and then Teferi emblem again. Say hi to my fiery um, friends. <clears throat> and that's, of course, not assuming they're going to kill all my stuff, but I guess they're probably going to kill all my stuff. But there we go. Exile the creatures, attack for eight. Finish that off. Bant Oath. Whoops. Wrong button. 2 0. Oh. Oath of Teferi is pretty busted in the long games. Turns out activating planeswalkers twice a turn is really, really good. <laughs> Why did they scoot? They were about to win. I don't think they were about to win, but. Yeah, I, I did the infinite bolus combo with Otha Teferi. I did that uh, quite a bit um, during War of the Spark. I wanted to, so I was, you know, I talked about this at the beginning of the video, but just kind of say it again. But yeah, I wanted to build Otha Teferi and decided to go towards, instead of going that route again, decided to go towards uh, Kamal's Druidic Vow. So that's really like the reason why we're green. Went to Kamal's Druid Vow and put a bunch of Planeswalkers into play, which we did get to once uh, that first round. We got to Druidic Vow for five and put in like three Planeswalkers, maybe just two Planeswalkers and like a Escanta or something. That was a quick passing of the turn. I feel like my opponent's going to play Frilled Mystic against me and I'm going to be sad. Ooh, no frilled mystic. I have I'm not sad. Against many. Meditate and prepare. I mean, druidic vow is awesome, but we need a lot more lands and everything. Oh, night pack ambusher. I'm back to being sad. So this is where our deck struggles. Not for this. <laughs> All right, the, the Urza's ruinous blast have have not been good. I will admit. They have not been good. Join my order. Unity is necessary. Join my cause. Because <laughs> untapping with planeswalkers has been really, really difficult. Burn too hot. Uh, sorry, Caesar. Yeah, you'll have to catch the Merfolk later on, on YouTube. Alright. Well, I had hoped that they weren't going to attack Casmina there. But yeah, so far with this league, if, if Ruinous Blast were just cleansing Novas, they would have been better so far this league. All right, so Ether Gust. So yeah, Runos Blast would have been spectacular if we could have cast it. But that's the hard part is casting it. Uh, 
Yeah, this is a legendary sorcery. You have to have a, a legendary creature or planeswalker in play to be able to cast it. Yeah, otherwise it would be really, really good. So it looks like we're playing against Simic Flash. Uh, this is a horrendous matchup for us. Did I just not bring in Veil of Summers? I think I just did not bring in Veil of Summers. That's not good. Yeah, this is just a super bad matchup because all of all, all of our stuff costs like three to five mana. It's all sorcery speed. That is perfect stuff when you're talking about wanting to counter things. Um, it does look like my opponent. I know my responsibility. Isn't countering yet. Got time. Maybe we can untap with this Kesmina and play? You know, Kesmina or Teferi. Maybe we can get one of the Planeswalkers in play still and be able to blast on turn five. Do you want me to phase you out of time? Ugh. Well, Tulsimer is legendary, and the wolf is legendary. Some solutions must be built. I guess playing Kasmina there is just better. I thought for some reason Karn was going to be at four loyalty, not three whenever minusing. All right, it worked out though. The choices we make reveal who we are. Yeah, Root Snare is an option. I don't really want to play two Root Snares. I wanted to play the Ruinous Blast instead, but honestly, it looks like the Ruinous Blast should just be Cleansing Novas. I think I think Cleansing Novas would be better than Root Snares, too. We just have a couple Cleansing Novas instead. Yeah, I'm ready for wolf travel also. Under my instruction, you will steer the course of my students. Yeah, I've always liked Tulsimer. And brilliant. So yeah, this this is the reason why I didn't just play the Ruinous Blast. Good hands for the opponent. They got me. There are great than 
I thought. Very good, strong hands. It looks like if I would have cleansing Nova the turn before, they probably would have countered it with that thing. And since I didn't, they get to play the wolf. That was. Impressive draws. So I think Lockmere Serpent could see play in a Sultai Flash deck or anything else. What is what is that card? What what color at least is that card? I mean, it should be Sultai. I'm I'm looking for it. Okay, there it is. Six mana, seven, seven, flash? No. Six mana creature? No. What six mana creatures in standard get played? They don't. I guess I can read what the card does. You can sacrifice island, island so it can't be blocked. That doesn't matter. Sacrifice a swamp. Gain a life, draw a card. That doesn't really matter. Exile target five target cards from an opponent's graveyard. Return it from the graveyard to your hand. No. Yeah. No. All right. Well, it looks like we we're probably going to be two and two. Hey, Rodzilla. Yeah, your, your hands, both games are just awesome. My deck is really expensive and clunky for that kind of stuff. You got me pretty good. Blast does get Frenzy also. I don't really want to put that... I mean, I have to put that card in the graveyard, but I don't really... Like, I mean, I'm I'm dead. All right, so I got... This is what I... I definitely thought that we couldn't win a game one against Mono Red, and so I wanted to try having a bunch of Drakes also. Yeah, like, Drakes can protect our Planeswalkers and stuff, so we're going to try a bunch of Drakes and Gus here. And then, yeah, Blast gets rid of uh, Frenzy and everything. I'm not going to play just a bunch more Blast. I think just the two is fine. Um... So we're going to see how that goes. Again, Narset is pretty weak. We're going to cut a Druidic Vow. Cut one Oath of Teferi. Teferis aren't great either, but they are better time wasters. Let's get rid of the Kesmina and another Narset. All right, let's try this. Yeah, as far as the, I like, from the new set, I, I really like both three mana Planeswalkers. I think they're both really good. I like Gilded Goose. Uh, um, the Questing Beast is incredibly good. Hey Korean, um, I still I need your 
I don't know if you sent me your deck list for tomorrow. I didn't get it. If you did. So I need your deck list for tomorrow. But question is, what do you think about Dreadhorde Invasion versus Mono Red, assuming they're backed up with Enter the God Eternals? Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, I got it now. Good. And then what slot do you want me to play at one, one through... One through three, which slot? Um, but anyway, I, I don't like Dreadhorde Invasion against Mono Red. Yes, if you have Enter the God Eternals and if... You have to like already have it out for multiple turns and it not um, you have to already have it out for like multiple turns and them not like shock your your two two or you know you get the four four and they don't kill it and then you turn into a five five and six six it's it's just too risky in my opinion they can all like it it does give your creature life link when it attacks but it's really easy to block the army with also like let's say you actually pull everything off and you have the invasion in play and it's making you lose life but you you did get to cast enter the god eternals so you know your life is as good as it can possibly be and you get to attack with your you know like six six creature with lifelink they can just block with any of their small things and then shock their own creature and then and you don't gain the life and then you know you're back to losing your life on your upkeep and and so on and I don't think it's a very good plan. All right, first. Okay, cool. Cool. Yep, I'll lead. I'll lead off with your deck tomorrow. Wow. Lots well, of unfortunate end ending to our deck here. That was our best possible draw step. Let's slow this down. No, I am not making this up as I go. That was our best possible draw step. Time for plan B. As soon as I think of one. I wouldn't mind them attacking Teferi and stuff, darn. One of them to like waste their Yeah. I just want you know my planeswalkers to be gain life kind of thing. Too old for this. Don't make another move. Ugh. Trust me, I have a plan. Our 26 land deck really let us down here. This is hardly my worst defeat. Yeah, Ferocidon got unbanned at the beginning of the month. You should leave before I make you disappear. All right, well, we broke even, went two and two. We got to do some really cool stuff with the deck, especially that, that match against uh, Elementals. That was a really cool match. We did get uh, game one. We did get all 11 Planeswalkers in our main deck into play. So that was really cool. Um, I knew I was going to really struggle against Aggro. We saw that there. Um, 
you know, I didn't draw the Drakes, but I just also didn't hit land drops. Uh, I would have to say the most disappointing card in the deck was the Urza's Ruinous Blast. It did not help save us at all. Um, I guess if I, if I would play this again, I would just go with Cleansing Nova or Time Wipe. Nova allows you to destroy artifacts and enchantments and everything, too. But yeah, the, the Ruinous Blast, they were really disappointing. Um, so I was, I was really struggling against the creatures because I couldn't, I couldn't keep a Planeswalker in play to then Ruinous Blast. And then there were some just uh, legendary creatures also, even at that point. Another option with the deck is, is going with the Fog effect, you know, going Root Snare instead of these just playing Root Snares. But that's just like a, a Band-Aid that, that allows you to like activate your, your Planeswalker like one more time, but doesn't stop them from getting killed by the creatures the next turn. And so I, I think you do want like the removal in there. Uh, you know, we're not really a, a Nexus deck that can take all the infinite turns or anything like that. So, but yeah, a Cleansing Nova, Time Wipe, you can go like either way there. I don't want Settle the Wreckage. Settle is just not very good. Um, but I think that, that that one change, like that could have really helped us out in a couple of games that we lost where we couldn't cast Ruinous Blast or Cleansing Nova would have been amazing. Um, but there we go. Bant Oath. All right, we got some Oath of Teferi action. Oath of Teferi was really strong. You know, casting, you know, activating our Planeswalkers a bunch was really strong. We didn't really get to Druidic Vow. We hard, you know, we only have two of these in here. We only didn't really hardly draw it ever. Uh, we we did it one time. We really got to Vow one time for five, and it was a good Vow. Like it put, like, uh, Narset and another Planeswalker, like either Mu or Kasmina, and like two lands and uh you know we got like two lands and like two planeswalkers and maybe an escanta or maybe three planeswalkers or something like that so it was definitely a really good druidic vow but um yeah all right so if you're watching this video later on youtube again don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there and also uh leave a comment I always like the comments on the videos and let me know what what other rares and mythics do you want me to build around? Stuff like Kamal's Druidic Vow, Oath of Teferi. You know, what's left uh, that we haven't built around that's going to be rotating that you want me to do for one of our last Throwback Thursdays? I think we're going to have two more Throwback Thursdays. No, just one more. One more Throwback Thursday before rotation. Cause then, so rotation is exactly two weeks from today. Wow, crazy. But there we go. All right. Thank you so much for watching Bant Oath, and I'll see you for the next video.